Hi, today I'm beyond excited to introduce you my favorite recipes that have become a huge part of my weekly routine. Four recipes that I eat almost every week, nourishing my body with protein, fiber, and vitamins while supporting my digestive system. Each dish can be prepared in advance, staying fresh for several days. Starting with my favorite pasta dish. Picture this, a creamy green sauce featuring your favorite leafy greens and tofu, generously draping over spinach spelt pasta, adding depth and nutritional goodness. It's not just about the ingredients, it's a combination of mindful eating and a highly satisfying creamy pasta. You can play with the ingredients, add more greens or less, use the kind of pasta you like, use it as a risotto sauce. It will always turn out creamy and nutritional. Greens like spinach, kale and broccoli contribute to improved digestion, enhanced immunity and increased energy levels. Embracing the diverse flavors and textures of greens not only adds a delightful element to your meals but also supports your well-being from inside out. Look at that vibrant color. It makes me so happy. It's so creamy and velvety and fresh, not heavy. I love the combination of peas and pasta. I actually hold myself not adding peas to almost every dish I make. I didn't notice this, but spoiler, the next two recipes are actually have peas in them too. Now let's dive in into comfort food territory with a lentil shepherd's pie. I soak the black lentils overnight before cooking them as I do with all the legumes because it's much easier for your body to digest them as they reduce compounds that are difficult for your body to break down. I've left detailed recipes and precise measurements below the subscribe button and I encourage you to embrace the stories, share your experiences with me, whether you're a seasoned chef or a beginner. Your questions are more than welcome at any point, so leave a comment and please like and let me know what you think. Make sure you drain very well the TVP because it consumes a lot of liquids and may affect the whole taste and texture of the bottom layer. So drain it very good. The bottom part of the shepherd's pie is really similar to the bolognese sauce you're familiar with. You can save this recipe and use it uh, both for the shepherd's pie and for a bolognese sauce. Combining lentils with veggies and soy granules creates a rich texture enhanced by a touch of wine for flavor enrichment. It is actually not a touch. I put a decent amount of wine into it, but you know, you can add less if you want. Ensure that the bottom layer is tucked uh, very good to the bottom of the baking dish and you can flatten it with a silicone spatula or a spoon.
I've noticed that the more you bake it, the firmer it gets. I baked for 30 minutes in a 200 degrees preheated oven and it got firmer after refrigeration. Fried rice for me is a truly perfect dish that everyone should know how to make. Its preparation is relatively easy, with the majority of the waiting time is for the rice, making it a dish that can be ready in 40 minutes, even for less experienced cooks. The dish has a sweet and tangy flavor profile without the need for strong tasting or sugar laden sauces. I love glazing the tofu separately and then adding it to the cooked rice with the vegetables. Of course, you can also saute the tofu along with the vegetables. In this case, the tofu might be less flavorful, but it does shorten the overall cooking time. Fried rice has the potential to be healthy and I appreciate that the sauce I use doesn't contain excessive amounts of salt and sugar like regular sauces. This makes the dish sweet and tangy in an amazing way. Additionally, the ability to incorporate vegetables and chosen protein like tofu I used in here makes the dish wholesome and very satisfying. One of my favorite go-to recipes is a simple yet flavorful mushroom soup. I've been making this soup for years and it never fails to satisfy me. I used portobello mushrooms, but you can use any kind you like. You can combine few kinds. Adding flour to mushroom soup or any other thing you add flour to, it creates a base called roux, giving it a richer taste with a bit of nuttiness, like from nuts. <laughs> if you want to skip the flour, you can use alternatives like cornstarch or potato starch to thicken it. The process is easy to follow, making it a perfect choice for a comforting homemade dinner. Whether enjoyed on a chilly evening or as a quick lunch, this mushroom soup has become a staple in my kitchen. And I just wanted to share that I just got 100 subscribers the other day and I'm so thankful for that. I don't take it for granted at all. And that means so much for me. 
and gives me a lot of strength to keep forward and make lots of new and exciting recipes for you to try. So thank you. I really, really, really appreciate it.